Hey everyone, I'm Raul and welcome back to my channel. I'm here to draw together again, so let's see how we can draw. I will show you my way to draw a realistic neck. So I will show you today in this tutorial how to add shadows, pores and also the necessary details. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and about the bell notification to be notified when the video comes out. So guys, don't forget, let's draw together. So first thing to do, I'm starting with a base, as I'll explain when I draw the face. Just shade smooth for the first layer. I'm using HB Mechanical Pencil. Also, we need to work in layers to achieve the gradient tone, like in reference photos. Also, you can use HB Grade Pencils, but I prefer Mechanical Pencil. Now the direction of the shade is not important because we just shade the first layer. This tutorial guys will be short and very easy. I already explained you all necessary steps to draw skin. So we need to draw the skin only on the neck. So it will be the same procedure like face because you already know about my way to draw. I'm just going further to complete the full drawing. I will show you in this tutorial how to find shadows, how to add highlights and how to draw pores and freckles. After first layer I'm coming with toilet paper and I'm shade soft and light, mixing the graphite with the paper. As I told you before we need a base. Remember when you have too much graphite on a toilet paper just turn the other side to shade with a clean side. After this lesson guys, then we will start to draw the hair and you will see very interesting techniques and I will show you my way to draw hair, realistic hair. We have the base, I'm coming with 4B grade mechanical pencil to define the shadows. Going by small circles, as you can see also we're working in layers. And very soft on the outline, I shade layers by layers to build a gradient. In this way I can find the shadows. As I told you before guys, don't rush your work. Rotate the pencil to keep the pencil sharp. I will draw it with a white paper and add as much details as you can. I will shade this quick with the toilet paper again because I will need to come in with more shadows. I'm standing on the outline and I bring the graphite inside. As you can see, two work ingredients. I'm coming from the outline and I bring the graphite inside, mixing the graphite with the paper. And also I let a pay part on the neck where I need for highlights. As I told you before, we don't draw where the highlights are, so we can make the perfect shadows. I'm changing the pencil now with 8B gray and I'm going very soft to define better the shadows by circles. Also, as you can see guys, I'm working in gradients to draw the portrait realistic. It's very important guys to know about layering. If you're layering your work, you will see you don't need to press with a pencil. And you can work gently with a pencil. And the drawing will be like a reference photo. If I need more shadows, I'm coming again with one more layer. But this time, when I'm looking for details as well, I'm going small circles so I can blend after that. As you can see, we're going very light, even if it's A, B grade. I'm not pressing with a pencil, so I can add the shadows where I like. Just follow my steps to learn my way to draw. As you can see, even if I'm shadowing, I'm working in layers. If I need darker, I come in with one more layer, and I repeat the same step till I'm happy with the shadow. As you can see, my way to shade, bend a bit pencil in your palm, also, I'm rotating the pencil, keep the pencil sharp for longer. You will see different type of blending now. I'm not gonna use toilet paper. From now we're using blending stone. It will soften my paper and in the same time it will define my shadows. When I'm looking for dark shadows, as you can see, I'm changing the position of the pencil so I can add a bit pressure for better tone. So this position of the pencil is only when you define the shadows to make them darker. Also working in layers, the tone of the graphite changing. I'm always like to work in gradients to make same as reference photo, to work realistic as I can. Changing the position of the pencil, as you can see, I move the pencil flat, bend in my palm, so I can shade easy following the reference photo to find the shadow. 
of my lesson can help guys and you can upgrade your skill if you're happy with my way of course don't forget sharp very well your pencil and rotate the pencil slowly so you can add better than it is as you can see i'm layering always when i'm happy with the gray as you can see guys very easy way if i need a bit darker i'm just adding a bit pressure on my pencil before to start a portrait it's good to do some exercises see how you work with the pencils try to shade more time to see if you're happy with the gradients if you're a beginner learn to layering learn to change the grade on the pencil and when you know how to use the pencils you can start to draw a portrait and you can learn by yourself I give you all necessary details and I'll explain everything to know about realistic drawing. I'm coming with blending stone number 3 now because I wanna blend these shadows and also help me to smooth in the paper to see if I need to add more shadows or not. Now I'm looking to mixing the gradient and the grade of the graphite. What well, is my way to mixing the grade? I blend from the dark to light always. Never blend from the light to dark. You may have some graphite on a blending stone and you will see what happens if you do that. Always blend from the dark to light. Of course, clean your blending stone when it's full of graphite, but also it might be useful because we can add some details where we didn't draw because we can still use that graphite on a blending stone. For example, if I need more shadows here, I have already graphite on blending stone and I'm just smooth the paper and as you can see the graphite going into the paper and I can blend ingredients help me to define the shadows better I'm just repeating the same steps by layering till I'm happy with the shadows so very easy way shade start from the outline and add the graphite inside as you can see and also very realistic don't add highlights before as I told you before just work the base Layering till you're happy with the shadows. So that's my way to layering. I'm always layering my work so I can draw realistic. Remember guys, if you have to deal with dark tone, don't use HB grade, there's no reason. Just select your HB grade from your set and you will see very easy way and also a bit faster. You can draw in tones and also very good shadows. For big parts of shadowing, use blending stone with higher numbers like 3, 4, 5. Also, it's not reason to use number 1 for this type of blend, it's only wasting time. So that's why I'm here to teaching you how to use the pliers in the right way to draw realistic. As you can see, I did very important parts of shadowing using only 8B grade, HB grade mechanical pencil, 4B grade, by layering working ingredients following the reference photo now you will see when i blend starting from the line i'm adding graphite inside also you can shade with soft brush if you like cotton bud even toilet paper if you like but you need to work in more layers or if you work with blending stone you don't need too many layers using ab grade i'm adding more shadows to define the shape of the neck just follow my steps guys to see how to add in dark tone, working in layers of course, as you can see I draw more layers to achieve this dark tone using 8B grade. As I told you before guys, when, I'm have to do, when I have to deal with dark tone, I'm using 8B grade and I'm working in layers till I achieve the dark tone that I want. We're now adding highlights now, we're adding later. You can add highlights when you're happy with the tone that you're drawing. So remember guys, very good sharp pencils and slowly slowly we can add necessary details following the reference photo of course. As I told you before guys, when I need to work with dark tone, I'm using also dry brush, harder brush. It helped me to define better the dark tone and smoothing the paper as well. Hard brush, just blend the part of the dark tone is. So guys, this portrait is made only with graphite pencils, I'm not using charcoals. And also guys, for the next tutorial, I will show you my way to draw realistic hair. Also, we need to use in 8B grade for the dark tone. Now I'm looking to build a gradient and I'll shade very soft using the same grade, 8B grade. But as you can see now, I'm not using the pressure on the pencil. And to blend, I'm coming with blending stone number 3. And I combine the grade from 8B grade 
for the lighter part of the paper. In this way I build a gradient. In this portrait the t-shirt will be only dark black color so very easy to draw using 8B grid. We need only 2-3 layers to achieve this color of the t-shirt. And as I told you I'm using part of the brush to smooth in the paper. That's the first layer and I'm blending with dry brush. This process helping me to make the darker faster and I don't need too many layers. Now for the second layer, add a bit pressure on your pencil to make the color black. Now you will see after second layer if you use harder brush, you don't need to make another layer. Now I can go in to define the shadow of the neck. Of course my way is small circles and rotating slowly the pencil to keep the pencil sharp for longer. Of course we're working in layers as well. Pay attention on the outline and details also. You will see guys how important are the shadows, also the highlights when you draw a realistic portrait. So when you have to deal with this, stay longer till you're happy with your drawing. As you can see guys, blending is helping me to work in the gradients, blend by layers. And when I'm happy with the shape of the neck, I'm coming with highlights and details. For highlighting, as you know already, I'm using Faber Castell Eraser Pencil and my way to highlighting is very soft, blotting with eraser, imitating the photo, making the same skin. As I told you before, I will give you all necessary details to learn about realistic drawing. I have very blue necklace here, so we need to erase just a bit from the necklace. As you can see, we already started with a the necklace is very blurred so very hard to see but slowly slowly we can draw imitating the realistic necklace so very simple way guys if you have to draw a necklace on your portrait work with the base first after you have the base you can erase for details for highlights and come back for 8b grade again to shadowing behind the necklace as I told you before guys, you will see how important are the shadows for realistic drawing and I'll show you an easy way to draw the details. As you can see, I started to go light where the base of the neck is, middle of the necklace and I'm coming with shadows to make the necklace looking realistic. I'm staying on 8B grade for this. And I'll show you also easy way how to draw blue. I'm using blending stone to blend. And you will see when we blend the shadows, they become blue, making our drawing looking like a photo. As I told you, when I'm working with small parts, I'm using first number of blending stone. Now I'm coming for details with mechanical pencil for B grade. Just add some details. And I'm coming again with number one blending stone. And I blend everything made by 4B grade mechanical pencil. In this way I can have realistic necklace. Now slowly, slowly I build the shadow from the necklace on the neck using blending stone. As you can see, blending more times in the same place, I can define some shadows. And I need some highlights. For this one, I'm using eraser, and this time I'm using electric eraser. As I told you before, guys, I can add highlights with electric eraser even on 8B grade, where the dark tone is, by dotting, to make more interesting details. And now very soft with 4B, add some shadows, I'm not pressing with the pencil. And also blending stone number one, helping me for the shadows. I'm coming with toilet paper, just to smooth the skin, so I can add more details. For maximum highlights on the necklace, what I need, I'm gonna use jelly roll. Only when I need, 
and you know ready to work with jelly roll just dotting very soft as you can see this gel pen is very good for highlighting for maximum highlights as I use for eyes and glasses. The last thing to do is to add pores on the skin. You know already know how to add pores. I'm coming with a bit more shadows for the t-shirt. Using AB gray and from the outline of the neck inside building a gradient of the skin. And with blending stone, number one of course, I blend to mix the gray the graphite. How to blend this? From the dark to light always. We add in graphite from the dark inside and also by rotating we mix very soft. As you can see just a bit shadows make the portrait interesting and realistic. Now just dotting soft with eraser and adding pores make more details of the skin. Remember, we do this only where the highlights are. It's not necessary to dotting on a dark side area. I'm using this eraser pencil for dotting because it's very easy to use and it's very good also. We always clean the eraser on the paper. That's why I'm keeping the blank paper here. Keep my drawing clean till the end and also clean my suppliers. For example, blending stone, erasers, also pencils if it's necessary. So that's my way to draw realistic skin. Stay with me, follow my steps. That's the tutorial for the skin. So let's see what we draw. I have the picture in the tablet. So we draw this part of the neck and I add very blue necklace as in reference photo is. Uh, a lot of shadows. And as I told you guys, don't forget about the highlights because the highlights are very important. And I'm draw highlights with eraser for the final step thank you very much for watching my tutorials guys and with number three blending stone just blend very soft and of course we don't forget about the highlights i'm using always faber castell pencil to dotting also you can use tombo mono zero eraser for this type of highlighting but if you think is better for you eraser pencil you can achieve on Amazon I have the link in the description eraser pencil so don't forget the next tutorial we start to draw here and I'll show you all my ways all my steps how I draw realistic hair and uh, I will show you how to use dotting tool for the hair effects also thank you very much for beautiful comments guys as I told you before guys we draw a full portrait John Lennon portrait and I show you my way to draw to become professional artist. As you can see for me it's very important even small parts of the highlights make the drawing realistic so add as much details as you can. Uh, by the way the all suppliers will be in the video description on YouTube description. I buy all my suppliers from Amazon so I put the link in the description. Even the paper. From the next tutorial we're starting to draw here and I will show you all my suppliers, how to change the suppliers, the pencils. Of course we need to work in grades, we work in layers. We'll draw these portraits till the end. Thank you very much guys, stay safe, see you with the next tutorial.